Let's go, Dark and Light TBF Gaming, jumping back into this magical playthrough of Dark and Light. Excited to get going today, but this is kind of a weird one. This may be the last video for Dark and Light. I need you guys to do me a favor. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments, or let me know in the, the, uh, the like button down below. Go ahead and do one of those two things, because that shows me that we want to keep going with this. Unfortunately, the YouTube algorithm says that no one likes this, and I don't know why, because it's not like the game is abandoned or an early access game that never got finished, or a game that might have a few problems with it, or a game that people don't play, because other than those things, I love this game, I really do, there, I have a soft spot in my heart for this game, it's one of the first games that we really played big time on YouTube, and we got to meet some really cool people, and if you guys know the adventurers, Otto and Teru, I met them in this game, so <laughs> I, I love this game, but I know not everyone else does. So what I need to do is kind of figure out if I can go a couple more videos with this, and I really want to. We kind of have certain thresholds that we have to hit, and I don't want to say I'm here, but there's certain thresholds you have to hit to even make a video worth making. Otherwise, I don't make my three cents per video that uh, we normally make, So, and uh, I wish that was a joke too. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, so a couple things. First of all, we're kind of hanging around the city. I kind of forgot how some of the city stuff works, and I was kind of running back here. I've been smashing barrels for a few hours now. We've got quite a few coins just from smashing barrels. It's kind of the way to go. I'll show you what's up down here. Let's go and do a little magic spell so we can run kind of fast. Boom. And we've been playing with a little bit of the magical stuff a little bit too, just to kind of remember how that stuff works. But there's so many things I love about this game. I just wish this game was still going. But we're running around the city. First of all, there's houses that you can rent, which I, I kind of forgot about. I thought this was always really cool. You can rent them for seven days at a time. I'm not going to touch these ones because it looks like they're rented by someone else. Uh, is this one? Let me see. Owner none. Boom. We can rent it for, it looks like $4.90. Rent failed. Uh-oh. Do I need more? For rent. Rent to people in a house. No more than three men only. Oh, you know what? Since our tribe is too big, can I not rent that one? That might be a thing. But yeah, running around the city, there's a lot of things you can do here. There's a couple cities, not cities, houses that you can rent. There's a, a, a thing where you can apply for lordship of the town, which right now Wilbur's the lord because he, he had the, the most money or the highest tribe or something. I'm not really sure how that works. What is this? Uh, this one. Uh, no more than three men. Is it three on all of these? That's kind of a bummer if that's the case. But otherwise, I, it, it's really cool, so it doesn't really matter one way or the other. This one I don't even see a plaque for. Or maybe that's what that was down there. That's that plaque for that one. Okay, so no go on that one. Let's check this one at the top. And then we'll probably run down to the bottom, and I'll show you the vendors down here. So this is same thing, three men only. So I guess, are all of these just three men houses only? That's kind of weird. That's a weird decision. I mean, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Now, single player is funny. If you guys ever play this in single player, it gets really funny because there's like crazy amount of spawns up on the hills. The little dark spawns and crazy stuff that spawn all around here and down there. Pretty much everywhere. There's a lot of weird over spawns in single player. So you got to kind of watch out for that. We got wrecked on that back in the day in our single player playthrough. Definitely go back and watch the single player videos that we have on this one. They were a lot of fun. We did a lot of cool stuff. Checked out some cool mods. And we were really, really bad at YouTube. Now I'm only half bad. So it's a little bit better. Our audio's improved. I'm still really bad at games, but it's pretty much the same otherwise. Let's go ahead and go around here. I think this is the magic lady over on this side. I get, I get a little turned around in the city. But there's three different cities. That's the other thing I kind of forgot about. Here's another drawback to the game. Because I'm going to talk a little more about the game in this video. So if you guys don't like that, I'm, I apologize. It might be a little bit more of me rambling than usual. But this game, one of the things that they did is they created three different factions. That's not so bad, and I think a lot of games do something similar to this. But what happens is, if you when you go to the three different factions, if you look in the bottom of the map, there's Estelle City. That's where we are. That's the elves. If you look at the very north of the map, there's Ironfast City, which is the dwarf city. And then on the far, far left bottom is Tallow City, which is the human city. That's really cool. Whichever one you choose, it doesn't really explain this in the beginning, but whichever one you choose, you're stuck in that one. And at least back in the day, I don't know if they've changed it, you can't even tribe up with people that are in different cities uh, because the elves and the men and the dwarves don't like each other, which I understand. I do understand the faction thing or how that works, but I always thought that was a weird case because then when we jumped on a server and then our friends jumped on a server, if we didn't all choose the same thing, we wouldn't be able to really play with each other later, which I thought was a, a weird thing. Maybe, maybe there's something to remedy that, but there never was. That, that could have been one of those things that could have been fixed with mods later on. That's the other thing is the mods in this are really good, and I've gotten a few of them to work. When we run out into the wilderness, you're going to see that the dinos, I'm sorry, tames, creatures, whatever you want to call them, the monsters from the other maps are now on this map. We were able to get them, them to spawn on this map using one of the mods. The mod wasn't working. I had to do a few tweaks to it. But it's working now. We got all these crazy creatures out there. This is the Magic Lady Leandril. She sells some cool armor. I'm sorry, Magic Lady. Who am I talking about? This is the Armor Lady. Looks like she's got a couple shields. We got a, actually a couple really good shields in here. 
I don't really know which one is like better, better. There you go. Durability 1500. Wow. This one's got durability 1200. That one just looks cool and I want it. Uh, and there's some other cool armor in there. What is that one? That is a craftable workers tunic. Down here, we've got the Traveler's Tunic. I just think they look really cool. Armor, they're not as good, but they also have a little bit of magic durability, which I thought was neat. And then the Copper is what we're wearing. That one has 50 for the regular one, and then there's an upgraded one on a couple of these. 50, 50, okay, on one of them. But it changes each day. I got one a couple days ago that had like 88 armor, so there is different durabilities or armors that you'll see inside of here. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, anyways, that's that. That's, that's that lady. Is that it for up here? Can we go in? No. There's also a castle at the very top, like the actual throne room and everything. I didn't go in there. I don't remember what's in there, but I thought it was really cool. But yeah, another another kind of just weird thing about this is just kind of the layout of the map. It's definitely a map that's a little difficult to kind of travel around sometimes until you get some better tames. But they never really thought about what to do about the DLC map if you bring stuff over here like that. Because now we can become Pan and we can use this guy to kind of travel around everything, which they weren't really planned for. So I thought that was another kind of shortfall with the game. They never came back and did like a TLC to this map, which, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen with it. But I know that they completely abandoned it. But there's also like that 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 small, small hope that maybe someday it'll come back. You also can't talk to vendors when you're this guy. And you seem to get less coins too. So got to not don't go really hit the barrels all the way around here. But this is kind of our job right now. We're, we're doing uh, just running around hitting barrels and getting some coins so I can buy a few things in the city. This is probably like our, our, our like 15th, 16th trip, and I stole all the coins from the base as well. So we're up to now. Where are we at now? 5,400. We're kind of a big deal. We're basically a video game millionaire, right? Let's get the rest of this. But it's not too bad. You can get a couple hundred each trip here. So it's definitely not too bad. 60 there. Yeah, you can pretty much do that the whole way on 88. If you go really quick, we can keep the running tally. There you go. So there's like 120 from that side, and then there's some on the other side too. Over here, we've got the sword guy. This guy, we can buy a couple things. We've got swords and tools. I really like the axe. I kind of want to use that. Oh, that's just the gathering one. No, I don't want that. That one, I want the hammer. The hammer one's pretty cool. You can actually knock people out with that, which I thought was always fun. Are any of these better? Uh, damage 10. Damage 10. Damage 16. Ooh, kind of an upgrade. We'll take it. All right, swords. We've got 125. That just feels like it's awesome. The two-handed greatsword. Give it to me. It's expensive. I'm good with it. And the hammer. We're going to buy all those. So that's 55. Yeah, that greatsword is nice. Iron dagger. Those are pretty cool. I guess we could use that to gather stuff more, right? Uh, we've already got the sickles. We've already got the pickaxe. Uh, do we have iron? Just in case. We're going to go ahead and buy these two as well. We'll buy that one and we'll buy the axe. All right, uh, so what's this? The ranking. Whoa, what is that? Oh, wow. Shadow, 13,000. Jensen, 47. La Shasta, 3. And Pyro, 11. What is that? Is that from donations? I will donate all my money. Where's my money? I have 3,000. So if I, if I donate 2,500, enter. Yeah, look at that. I'm the fourth. I don't know what that means, but I'm on the board, man. I feel kind of special. <laughs> I have no idea if that's good or not. All right, that's cool. So I guess you can you do that with each one of these guys? That's kind of incredible. I like that. Uh, there's another one that we can buy and sell from over here. There's this guy. This one is legit. I probably should have saved all my money. I don't know why we just did that. That was really dumb. We should have saved it for this guy, this one here. This guy, you can get some legit what stuff. We can go over here and get some of the hook arrows, which is the really hardcore ones to get the bigger dinos, medium or large size creatures. We've got the smaller ones that we can buy as well. So you can come over here and kind of get like a little bit of a head start. There's also some really good saddles and we kind of need a Baroon to saddle. Hold on. Is there a Griffin saddle over here? Hold on. Griffin? Does the search mechanic work? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> let's just see. We've got Flathorn, Deer, Spider, Spider, Waterfly. Ooh. Do I have enough for that? 335? I kind of need that. I have 872. We do have enough for that. Let's come back to it. Barunda, Barunda, Longhorn, Void Ray. I don't even know what that is. Wyvern, Bear, Bear, Elephant, Elephant, and Fireworks. Well, okay. I need that Waterfly because we did tame the Waterfly recently. And we kind of need the Barunda. So we're going to grab that as well. Boom. We got saddles, man. There's also a new salesman in here somewhere. Who's supposed to sell the other stuff? Is it you? I think it's this guy. Uh, suppressed Overseer Stone. Right. That's how you get the Overseers, I think. There's some different 
feeding stuff. And then there's the saddles for the different random DLC dinos. In fact, let's go check those out. Kasha, that's what we want right there. Kasha, Darku. We'll have to come back over here if we can get one. A bear, elephant. What about a pigling? No pigling? Aw, oh, let me have a pigling, right. guys. That's not cool. Anyways, there's that salesman. That's awesome. And then I think there's one more in one of these two buildings, or maybe there's two more. And then we'll do this, and then we'll get out of Dodge. Like I said, this might be the last video. I'm not really 100% sure. I do want to continue with it, and I'm going to continue playing it. I just don't know if I'm going to put it up on YouTube just for the fact that, you know, it's it's just not getting the love that we need. Uh, and that's just kind of just the way it works. Like, if you put too many videos up on the channel that just get no love at all, it hurts the other videos. It's really weird. It's kind of a pain. Kind of the YouTube struggle. All right. Uh, what's your name? Quillarel. We're gonna. We bought a bunch of those already. That's why I have so many of those. What is that? Rune of Dark Vision. My targets cannot hide from me. That just sounds so dramatic. Some contracts. Very cool. Lots of cool stuff. Is that one better? No, it's one damage. I don't know how any of this works. Let's go ahead and buy that, so I don't have to redo it. Cool. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go outside of the city so I can show you some of these cool new tames and creatures that are out there. I'm working hard not to say the word dino. There's also a way that you can get horses. I don't know where. It's somewhere in here. You're able to like talk to one of these people. In the human city, it's like right here in the middle. In this city, I'm not 100% sure. But you talk to them, you get yourself a horse, and you can roll out of town kind of quickly. And back in the day on official servers, we were playing the PvP servers, and you couldn't even I couldn't even make it out of the town before just getting wrecked. It was a lot of fun, but it was also a big time struggle. All right, let's go ahead and put all of our magic stuffs down here. Put that right there. Uh, that can go there. Let's try and make sure all of them are down here. Boom. Sweet. Oh, let's get these swords and stuff here too. Let's go like this. We're gonna move. Oh, sorry, sorry, stop it. Let's get rid of this one and we'll put down that one. That should help out improve how much we can gather. We're going to do that one instead of that one. The sword right now is 25 damage. We just got one that's going to be 125 damage. So that's a huge upgrade, and it's a two-handed, so we can't use the shield. Uh, we've got a better crossbow we're going to put right there. We've got a sweet hammer that we're going to put there. Oh, man, that's pretty legit right there. I like that. And then we can put on this second one, we can go ahead and put these other two tools. Where is it? The satyr axe and the satyr knife. And I think that's everything, right? I think that's everything. That's at least close to everything. Let's go. Not bad, man. Not bad. Cool. That's some nice little upgrades. Let's go ahead and check out these two new tools. So obviously we've got the pickaxe. We should be able to gather just ridiculous amounts of everything. And it's going to actually help us level up a little bit faster in some of the different areas. You'll see them on the bottom left just leveling up like crazy. There's another thing that I've really loved about this game is the way the things level. And I think we've talked about this previously. But just the fact that... Everything you do does something. I, I just appreciate that about this game. And I think had they worked a little harder to kind of finish out some of the questing and tree stuff, this game, this game, man, this could have game could have been. This game is the game of forgotten potential. That's what it is. All right, let's keep rolling this way. We're gonna follow the trail out because last time I ran out here, there you go, out of the town. Now we're out into the danger zone. Now we can go ahead and select this mission about the overseer. Let's check out the overseer task. Kill overseer. Boom. I am Pam. I am Pan. I know you are, buddy. May the light of All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Let's uh, travel for a minute and look for this overseer guy. Okay, I, I just want to say that I definitely feel like I should just stop and just say we have the power, right? The, I have the power. No, anyway, let's not do it. But I definitely feel like that's what he's about to say with this sword right here. That or Thundercats, Thundercats, Thundercats. Oh, one of those two. I uh, just got to be careful how I say that for the YouTubes. <laughs> let's go this way. I think this is where we saw him over here. But you, they're supposed to be just like right outside the city. You're supposed to be able to see... The pigling and the overseer. Oh, what is that? That's a regular cat. I hear the noise. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to run into one of the bad, bad things. But the overseer, I can usually... Cr I can usually knock him around pretty... There we go. What's that? That's something new. What are you? That might not be something new. That might be something that was already in. But let's go check it out. Hello, hello. What in the world are you? Okay, I don't know what that is. It's a light elemental. Hi, how are you? Wow. I'm kind of afraid to hit you. But also really want to hit you. Oh, this was a bad idea. Okay. Oh, the uh, sword's awesome, but it's slow. We're doing good damage, though. I'm so sorry, lady. I'm so sorry. My bad. Yeah, there we go. 
That was kind of incredible, right? What do we... Oh, wait. Should we use the magic thing on you? Hold on. Let's go number eight. Boom. Yeah, give me the magic stuff. Should give me light stone? Hmm. Okay, what if we just straight up gather from you? Can I not gather this way? Hold on. No, what if we go with this? Okay, we still get light stone that way too. I don't know which is the better way. I also don't know what I use a light stone for. I also feel really, really guilty about this. Yeah, that I, I, that didn't feel so good about that. That was that was a little, little bit of guilt involved there. Let's run up this way. Oh, that's not something you see all the time. How's a Godfa? Godfa, what's going on? Nice tree. I like your tree a lot. <laughs> if he if you could paint it, he would have painted it pink for sure. Let's keep going this way. What's up, Longhorn? Longhorn, Doctor. Okay, I just told everybody that there were these other creatures out here, and now there's nothing. What's up, man? I know there's tons of goblins over here. We might have to come over here for our goblin army. What's up, man? Yep, yep, I see you. Let's go like this. Let's go like this, and boom. Nope, don't get hit by him. I'm not getting knocked out. Yep, don't get hit. Yeah, take that. Awesome. Go ahead and gather this guy up. Oh, he had goodies on him. Look at that. What do you have? He's got a couple things. Oh, these things are actually really cool. There's these little gears that you get from them. You can consume them, and it levels up. I think I might have showed you this in a previous video, but it levels up your goblin engineering, and that unlocks some pretty cool stuff later on. We'll have to definitely get into that. All right, I think we're going the right way. I always get a little bit lost running back to the base. But yeah, this is definitely the area to come back for some goblins. Oh my god, look at all these. Goblin city. Alright, carry on. Carry on, let's go. I just need one overseer. Where did you guys go? Oh, here we go. What do we got here? We got hyenas. And an all black guy. What is that? Oh, what is that? Hold on. Is that like a special one, or is he just cool colored? Okay, alright, alright. We're fine. Why can't I do magic and... Okay, come on. I thought I could do magic while running. I guess not. Never driving magic, I guess. There we go. Did that slow him down? It should have slowed him down a little bit. It did. Nice. Oh, we missed. Completely missed. <gasps> Look at that. There's a tree guy. Tree man, what's up? It's a tree ant. Oh, and there's something. What is that? What are you? Oh, why are you attacking me? Hold on. Why is that a thing? Are you a... Where did you go? Okay, you need to stop it. All right, we're going to get this guy. There's a couple of those guys chasing me. The owls? What in the world? That is from the other map for sure. A, a pair of 68 hyenas. That's awesome. Not what we want right now, but I'm willing to mess with them. Alright, just don't back into something worse. Alright, you guys need to break those. Watch out for the owls. I'm going to go with owl. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Maybe that other guy will fall down now. Break those lines. We have quite a few arrows. We can do this for a minute, but we gotta be careful. Alright, that other guy might fall down. There you go. Go down, buddy. Go down. Go down. Yeah, one's out. Alright. This guy might go out after this. I thought he was biting the other guy. I was like, come on, man. Is he going to go down? We need to stay in this area. Break the lines. Hold on. We're almost done with him. Wow. All right. Let's see if we can get these guys. A little bit of everything. Okay. Let's keep him in this little line so he doesn't go too far. 
Oh, you're back. Good. That's what we need. There you go. Getting down. You want to go to sleep for me, buddy? All right, we need to heal. Okay, he's down. Where'd the other owl go? There he is. We got a level 8 owl. Let's get that guy. Come on. Oh, what is that? What was that? It was a little bit of a hard hit. Ow. I don't want to do the cobweb because we don't want him to get that permanent slow thing going. Alright, let's go back this way. We're going to hit you with a couple more and then we're going to set you free. Because the level 8 is going down right now. We're going to let the level 8 break the thing. Level 8's going down. There it is. That's fine. You can hit me all you want. Do your thing. We're doing just fine. We're a little low on health. We'll heal up in just a minute. Ow. Okay, be careful. I don't know how many we got to put into this guy. I think there's still a taming calculator online if you ever want to see how many arrows you got to use. Or how much food it will be. Ow. Oh no, did we do too many? I gotta watch out. I'm gonna end up getting them locked down. Heal up. Okay, I don't know if we even got it off. Come on. There we go. Get those things. The third person view is a little weird getting used to, but it does work well in this game. We do a pretty decent job with it. Come on, we're there, man. It's level 72. Alright, we're good. Okay, let's, I want to keep him as close to these guys as possible. If we do this right, we can use one taming trap for or taming thing for all these guys. Gonna run out of arrows if we're not careful. We're, our crossbow is about to break. There it is. Let's get these arrows on the other one. All right, got it. Okay, back to this. Here we go. Let's go. I don't know if it affects torpor when you do a bow that has more. I don't think it does because it's based on the ropes, right? Oh, okay. If anything else comes up here, we're in so much trouble. Like anything could wipe us out right now. Come on. Come be my friend. Just go to sleep for us. We're almost done. Okay, break those lines. Oh, ow. Almost done. I have one more crossbow if this one breaks. Ow. Alright, we're going to end up dying. We've got to be careful. Come on. Alright, let's go the other way. We need to heal, man. Let's, let's go up here. Let's heal one more time. Heal it. Come on. Quickly, quickly. There we go. Now we're good. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're going to die. Eat lots of food. All right, here we go. One more time. Let's get it. All right, we're healing. Everything's fine. Oh, God. I'm stuck on that guy. This owl is taking so many arrows. I need to, when I edit this, I should go back and count how many arrows it is. I'm not going to, but we definitely should. I'm guessing it's a thousand. All 
Alright, break those lines and go to sleep. Come on. Let's give him to break those last couple. There he goes. Yes, finally. Oh my god, that took forever. Alright, we need a taming trough. Let's go. Feed. Feeding trough. Craft. We can craft a second one just in case. Alright, I know the hyenas are easy. They like the spoiled meat. What in the world do the owls like? I really don't know. Let's get down here and see. Let's go... Like this. And use. And boom. Nope, oh, my bad. Alright. Okay, you guys are simple. You'll eat those, right? That'll feed you guys right up. Hopefully the owls don't even try to eat that. Are you also feeding? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Alright, we got the hyena patrol guarding us now. Oh, oh. Oh, the owl takes it too. Okay. That was, that was a little unexpected. Let's go like this. Let's go demolish. Come with us, guys. You didn't start taming off of that, did you? You were a little too far away. All right, let's go use. And then we'll go ahead and put the spoiled meat on here, too. So the owls seem to be a fan of that. Maybe just because it was such a low level. No, it's pretty good. Is there anything else that I have that they would really like? Maybe that? Do you want that? You want that? You can have it all, man. You tame up and you can have it all. No, he's taming great. About to have an owl. I'll take it, man. Yeah, man. A couple owls, a couple hyenas. A nice little trip back. And I still haven't even seen an overseer. All right. How close are you, buddy? He almost there? Come on. Oh, man. One more bite. Let's do it. Oh, man. Teasing me. 99%. Like whatever is between 99 and 100. That much. Oh, don't tease. Come on, man. People are watching. Well, uh, judging by the last views, maybe not. But <laughs> still, there you go. 107. That's not too bad at all. Boom. Give me that. Cool. That that was super lucky. All right. You guys ready, man? Can't I pick you guys up or something? <gasps> Carry on shoulder. We got a pet owl who has a hat. Where did your hat come from? That's just kind of weird. <laughs> there you go, man. Get a good look at this little guy. It's a little grainy, but it looks good. Why do you guys hate the camera so much? What's up with that? Hold on. If we go like this, look straight forward. Boom. You guys just do not like that camera. All right. Make sure I got a couple good screenshots of that. Let's go. Nice, man. What a cool day. I'm happy as heck with that tame. Kind of an easy, simple tame. Uh, let's do the quick map. Oh, also, I don't even know if we showed you guys this. We've got a map. I don't know if we even showed you that. We've got the really cool big map. There's also the mini map. Boom. You can do either one, F5 and F6. That is one of the mods on here. The game itself does not have a map. Weird. But this map works excellently. Let's go F6, F5. Let's go find the overseer should be up here somewhere. Our guy is really tired. We need to go get some rest. And then the overseer should be up here. Over the hyenas and the... I don't know where the other... Is the other owl lost already? No, he's down there. He's flying under their legs like owls would. I feel really slow. Are we overweight or is it just because the sword? Oh, it's definitely... The sword slows you down. <gasps> there it is. Overseer. Boom. That's exactly what we needed right there. So this overseer can be a little tough. A 48? Can we, I think we can beat that. Uh, we're going to find out. I'm not even going to dodge. You got this. There you go. Get him. Get him, Owly. Yeah, there we go. Did I get the credit? I didn't. You guys stole my credit. Good dinos. Bad dinos. Whatever you want to call it. we get some good meat out of that. All right. We need to make sure they don't steal our, our kill next time. Okay, stop moving, dude. That's really gross, man. Calamari nasty. All right, 44. All right, we need to this time make sure that we're actually hitting him when it's time. All right. Yep, I see you coming. Get him. Get him. Hit him. Oh, I missed. Uh, No, Hyena got it. I have to get the kill before they do, but I also don't want them to... Like, I don't want to get attacked too much, so I don't know. We're kind of in a weird... Let's go back to this. Maybe some sword action will help. Level 8. There you go. Okay, hold on. 
Everybody passive. Stay where you're at. Yeah, there it is. Got it. Boom. Uh, did we get anything cool out of it? I don't think so. Press Z to incarnate. No, that's just what was already there. Do we get anything cool from it? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Uh-oh. Uh, what is that? Just another overseer. Okay. Okay, unpassive. Let's go back to neutral. There you go. If he gives you trouble, smack him in the face. Oh, we're kind of a big deal. The sword's amazing. Let's go. Our guy's about to fall asleep over here. All right, are we headed the right way to base? Let's get to base. Let's get these people safe. I don't want to lose my little owlies. I do wish this game had breeding. That should have been one of the ads before they went away, too. We'll add that to the list. Number, number what, 78 and 79 of things they should have done. There's another owlie. What's up, owlie? Stay with me, guys. Oh, you guys are going to go fight the owl. Okay. What level is it? If it's a high level, we're not staying here. What is over there? There's something ice over here. Okay, hey, passive. Come on. Come on. Let's go. An ice golem. What? Is he going to wake up? Oh! Okay, we're just putting our sword away and we're just running. Highness, no, you guys are on passive. What are you doing? Okay, we're going neutral. Fine. Fine. Oh, I guess we need a sword out. Boom. Has anyone seen our other hyena? How did we lose a hyena? Alright, we killed an owl. We lost a hyena somewhere. Okay, just passive. Come on. Did he die? I mean, if not, he's just going to be out there in the wilderness somewhere. It's fine. We just got to go. This is like the longest adventure ever just to get back to the base place. Uh, you know what? I think we're good, though. I think we're good because we see the city. Once we see that, it's just a small, small little trip. There are some panthers and stuff, but we can make it to base pretty easily from here. So I'll see you guys back at base place in just a second. We'll probably end it out for the day. And, uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's uh get there. Let's go. All right, we've made it back to base. Two out of four dinos intact or tames intact. That's not bad. Two out of four, that's 50%. That's not quite passing, but we'll take it anyway. Let's go ahead and put you right here. Let's go ahead and say stop follow. Boom. We're going to go ahead and take little Ali inside. We are in desperate, desperate need. Oh, hold on. How do I get you off my shoulder? I don't know how to get him off my shoulder. I guess he just lives there now. E, -e, -e. There it is. E, -e. Ha-ha. And then we tell him to stop following. Good job, Ali. Super owl, and then we go down here. We take a nap in the community bed. It's not weird at all. There you go. Whoa, you were tired for real. Dang, buddy. You are definitely exhausted. All right, our guy's finally awake. Nice, that took forever. So I wanted to see this real quick. This guy, I don't know if he has anything else about him or what else he can do. He does have a costume av available, but there's no. he doesn't have a hat on. I wish I could take that uh, thing off of him. I'm not really sure what's up with that. It's like there's some kind of event active on the server because all of the goblins they don't usually have this little helmet on but they do now and i don't really know why or if there's a way to get rid of it i'm not really sure but these guys are cool we we could actually get an army of these guys and have them completely knock out things it'd be kind of awesome there you go get you a bunch of weight good job little dude where's that where's my other one and they get some decent passive levels just over time so you can kind of hang out with them and then just check on them from time to time or a good way is what i did before is i made a giant like taming pin and put a bunch of these guys in there and just drug dinos in there, drug tames in there. Not tames, the other word. Oh my god, what is this? The revive pod. <gasps> this is how you do the thing. This is how you do the, the thing. The uh, the golems, isn't it? Or the tree ants, one of the two? I don't know, I gotta do some research. It's been a while. But anyways guys, hey, so that's kind of it. I know we rambled a lot in the beginning. Hopefully we got a little bit of adventuring done in the middle. We haven't even explored the rest of the map. We got so much to do. And I would love to do that with you guys, but it just really kind of depends on what happens for the rest of the video. But I do appreciate all the support, guys. It's been a lot of fun. And I do uh, appreciate, even if there's only a few people watching, if, if there's enough people that let me know, I will continue with it, but it just really kind of depends. Uh, but I, I do appreciate it. If this is the last video for Dark and Light, what I've thought about doing is doing a an end of game review 
kind of like a quick review on it. It's not something I've done on the channel, but I think it'd be kind of a fun thing. I got a map in my face. Boom, no more map. But it's something I've, I've thought about doing for a while, and I would love to kind of learn how to do that format of video. Uh, even though we just do gameplay videos, it'd be fun to do something a little bit different. Anyways, rambling is done. If you actually made it to the end of the video, first of all, you're the MVP. I don't know who listens to me for that long. I would have shut me off six and a half minutes ago. But I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys. Huge shout out to the patrons for making all the servers possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. I mean, just honestly... I'm having a great day. I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. Should be War of the Walkers up tomorrow and Ark up every day. Although we got some cool side stuff to go really, really soon. Anyways, rambling complete. Log off.